So you have more than one hamstring, right? Your hamstring is not a, a single muscle, it's hamstrings, as in there are several muscles. And we can kind of split them into medial and lateral. Your medial hamstring is your semi tendinosus and semi membranosus. What joint do these muscles cross? The hip and the knee. They cross the back of the hip. So what are they going to do with the back of the hip? Extension. OK. They cross the back of the knee. So what are they going to do with the knee? Flexion. OK, that seems easy enough. So why did I separate them into medial and lateral? They both attach to the tibia. One attaches to the medial side of the tibia, though, and one to the lateral side of the tibia. One's on the inside of the hip, one's on the outside of the hip. Right, so my medial hamstrings being on the inside of the hip and attaching to the inside of the knee, what other joint action do you think they might help out with at the hip? Internal rotation, good. What about the knee? Tibial internal rotation. You guys want to feel that? <laughs> I just got a face. It's not gross. This is something your knee naturally does, guys. So if you grab right, the inside back of your knee, you'll feel two guitar strings. Right? Now, I want you to take this hand. I want you to run your hand underneath your patella and right along the crest of your shin, the crest of your tibia, you'll find a bump. That bump is your tibial tuberosity. It's the insertion of your quadriceps. It's just a good bony landmark. Now, I'm going to have you guys feel tibial internal rotation and feel your semis contract. You ready? If you try to turn your foot in until you feel your tibial tuberosity turn in with you, you'll feel your semis contract. Can you feel that? Cool, huh? Now do 15 more. <laughs> All right. So then we have the lateral hamstring. What's the lateral hamstring called? Biceps femoris, as in what does bi mean? Two. What is seps? Heads. Femoris as in femur. So this is the two-headed muscle of the femur. This is on the lateral side. What joints does this cross? Hip and the knee. So, what is it going to do with the hip? It runs up and down in back of the hip. Yeah, it's going to be more extension. So all of our hamstrings contribute to hip extension, right? Is that what we just figured out? Which means our hamstrings help who? Who's the big extender? The gluteus maximus, right? So hip extension, all of my hamstrings help my glute max. What does my biceps femoris do with the knee? Flexes the knee. Okay. So I'm 
you guys kind of already know where I'm going with this conversation because we just did the semis. Since the biceps femoris is on the lateral side, what do you think it's going to do? External rotation of the hip and tibial external rotation. You guys want to do that same experiment? All right, so grab the guitar strings underneath the back outside of your knee, the lateral side of your knee. You guys can find your tibial tuberosity again, the bump along your tibial crest. That's that line that you feel. Grab this, turn out. You can feel your biceps femoris contract right away. This is probably a little easier actually because you have more external rotation at the tibia than you do internal rotation. You guys feel that one? Yeah? So all of the hamstrings once again do what two joint actions? Hip extension and knee flexion. The semis, the medial hamstrings, do what? Internal rotation of the hip and tibial internal rotation. My biceps femoris, the lateral hamstrings, do external rotation and tibial external rotation. Difference between the tendinosus and membranosus, joint action wise, they're the same. All right. Now, one thing for you guys to consider is do we see more people walk with feet turned out or feet turned in? Feet turned out. So, do you think these muscles are created equal as far as tightness goes? <coughs> Who do you think has a propensity to get tighter? The biceps femoris, the one who turns out is usually the tight hamstrings. Semitendinosus, semimembranosus, usually not tight. You don't need to stretch your semitendinosus. It's not necessary. Biceps femoris, maybe. In general, people way overstretch their hamstrings. 